सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस अनदर वीडियो ऑफ स्किल अप इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आर अपकमिंग फॉलो अलॉन्ग सीरीज सो इफ यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो देन आई एम एज्यूमिंग दैट इधर यू आर अ सब्सक्राइबर ऑफ दिस चैनल और आफ्टर वॉचिंग द होल वीडियो यू विल बिकम अ सब्सक्राइबर ऑफ दिस चैनल सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट आर अपकमिंग सीरीज लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट वी हैव डन सो फार सो टिल नाउ वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ होल प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ जावा एडवांस्ड and in that java advanced we have covered most of the complex topics of java now there is no particular series of java basics because my assumption is that most of you are aware of the basics of java either you have learnt about the java basics in some other video or maybe in your college but for the java advanced generally we don't have some high quality content and hence my approach is that i will provide you a better content for that now for that particular purpose first of all we created a video on exception handling because any big java code is going to throw you some kinds of exceptions and errors and hence as a java developer i should know how to deal with such kind of exceptions then beside this in the big java code we are not going to store our data in terms of array instead we will be taking help of generics and collections and in order to improve our code we will be doing it with the help of lambda streams and optional class and i hope that you have must watched all these videos so the video of lambda we step by step learned that how this lambda thing started and how we started with a collection then how we went to the anonymous inner class how we created a lambda function and everything now the best part of these videos was that while watching the video itself you will get an idea that how to do that particular thing you don't need to spend some extra amount of time in order to do that particular coding now besides this we have also touched another important topics like multi threading concurrency and data maybe now the question comes up is that what is going to be the next topic so the next topic is going that we will be interacting with the database and in order to interact with the database we will be taking help of the jdbc that is java database connectivity api now you may ask that okay what is going to be the difference between your jdbc videos and the jdbc videos which are available on the youtube or some other platform so the important difference is going to be that in this jdbc series it is not going to be a single video first of all it will be a series of multiple videos secondly here we are not going to do anything like i will be creating a particular class and then i will be connecting with the database and i will say that okay it's done instead we are going to have a complete full fleshed project here where you will see that how to take an input from the user how to manipulate that particular input how to process the input and then how to interact with the database so not only you are going to learn about the jdbc but this the same uh, project will be helpful if there is a particular student a college student then they you can make usage of the same project in your college also so the whole thing will be provided to you in the format of the code on the github repository all the github repositories are public now before we start the upcoming series you need to do basically three things thing number 1 is that first of all you need to watch our previous videos and get an idea of the important concepts like collections lambda streams and optional class because in our upcoming series we will try to make usage of all those previous concepts secondly you need to subscribe this channel and like this video also so our target should be that before we going to start with our next series we should have at least 300 subscribers so currently at the time of recording this video i'm having around 270 subscribers but let's say that before we start with our next series so we should have a target of at least 300 i don't think so it's a very big target if you find all these videos interactive so you can also subscribe you can ask your friends also and the third and the important thing which you guys needs to do is that as a java developer i'm assuming that you must be having the jdk and some kind of ide in your laptop or in your machine now beside this since we are going to now interact with the database also so you need to install a mysql thing also in your system so for this we don't have any particular video on our channel but if you will just go through the youtube you will find so many interactive videos where you will see that how you can install the mysql community server and the mysql workbench in your machine 
so you need to install that and you need to ensure that it is working fine and then we will be starting with our next series and there you will learn that how we can interact with the database step by step so i hope that you will be performing all these steps and will meet me in my next video so thanks everyone and do like and share this video thanks